All right, guys. It is Friday, September 10th, 2021, at 10.33 p.m. All right, guys. Let's start with a Bible verse. We have dailyverses.net, verse of the day. It says, God will repay each person according to what they have done. Romans 2, verse 6. All right. Let's start with 9-11. All right, guys. So tomorrow is 9-11, as everybody knows. So please pray for the families of the victims of 9-11. Please pray for everybody affected in New York City. Um, it was 20 years ago. Um, but there's still families who have lost one uh, loved ones. And a lot of people who still remember, uh, you know, the day it happened. You know, either seeing it on the news, the news or seeing it in person or hearing about it from other family members um i remember um being in my house and i remember seeing the news um i was just out of high school so it was quite quite shocking um i remember hearing stories about family members who had been in the towers who managed to run all the way down you know take their heels off and 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 go uh, all the way back up because they forgot their purse then get it then go back down and get out safely it was quite quite an ordeal for so many people and I know that it's tough um, having to relive it it's kinda like we relive it every time uh, every year every time 9-11 comes around and so many people have fears I've seen people comment oh I'm afraid you know what could happen tomorrow um, just because they don't know either um, if another attack could happen or if something could happen. Um, but everybody's always on edge around 9-11. So please pray for our country. Please keep each other safe. And let's go to the news stories. Alright, next. Let's go to my profile on Twitter. We just had some breaking news in New York City. Um, a fire on Rockaway. As according to multiple videos posted on social media, a massive fire broke out in the top floor of St. Jones Hospital in Far Rockaway in New York City. Let's take a look at this video. Is it our floor? The telemetric floor. Oh my God. No, that's the telemetric floor. Is it our floor? The telemetric floor. So it's a lot a fire happening in that hospital. Let's take a look at another post. It says, Intel Point urgent massive fire reported in St. John Hospital in New York City. Fire personnel reported the fire appears to have originated on the rooftop. Hospital staff and patients are evacuating the structure. Stand by for updates. I heard there were over a hundred firefighters um, assigned I heard there were over a hundred firefighters assigned to this fire that headed and trying to battle the fire happening on the roof of that hospital. So prayers for them and prayers for the people of New York City. This is uh, the kind of stuff you don't need right um, right before 9-11. Alright, from NBC New York says, Breaking more than a hundred firefighters have been dispatched to St. John's Espico Pole Hospital in Queens where the fire has already filled the clear blue skies with thick black smoke. Alright, so 100 firefighters, pray for them. Alright, next. India fears Nipah virus outbreak after 12 year old dies in Kerala. Alright, it says here, in India ramp as India, India ramps up its COVID-19 vaccination effort after a slow start, the country's health officials are racing to head off a new threat, an outbreak of the deadly Nipah virus. The containment effort has taken place in the southern state of Kerala, India, where a 12-year-old boy died in Nipah virus of the Nipah virus Zohikode. Several other infections have been traced. The virus is considered deader, deadlier than COVID, and so far, 20 people who are considered primary contacts of the dead child have been quarantined or hospitalized. At least two hospital workers have suspected infections as well. The boy died on Sunday, September 5th, 2021, 
after a week in the hospital. After being admitted with a high fever, his condition worsened to include inflammation of his brain. Blood samples confirmed the Nipah infection. Nipah is most frequently passed from animals to humans through direct contact, often after specific types of fruit bats pass the virus to livestock or pets. The last outbreak in India, which was also the Kerala, killed 17 members of an 18-person family. Their infections were traced to dead fruit bats found in the family's drinking water well. So please pray for the people of India having to now battle the Nipah virus. All right. Next, Hurricane Larry, Amazing Adventure. From rainy hurricane in Bermuda and Canada to vicious blizzard in Greenland. Apparently, Hurricane Larry is going to be traveling over uh, the North Atlantic and going to be a blizzard bringer to Greenland. It says here, It seems Hurricane Larry is going to be an incredible adventure over the next few days. Hurricane Larry, currently hitting Bermuda with bands of rain, gusty wind, and ocean swells, is going to turn into a blizzard in Greenland and dump 3 to 5 feet of snow. Meanwhile, Newfoundland, Canada is preparing for the storm. So heads up Greenland and Newfoundland right as it passes over into uh, the northern uh, Canada and then Greenland regions. So heads up, guys. Alright, next. Massive 6.5 earthquake at northernmost tip of the Cascadia subduction zone in British Columbia, Canada, was quickly deleted by the United States uh, Geological Survey, or USGS. Alright, so it says here, on September 6, 2021, a strong earthquake hit Kitmat, the northernmost tip of Cascadia subduction zone, around noon local time. The official reports of the 6.5 earthquake on land in British Columbia, Canada, were quickly deleted by USGS. It says the USGS sent out the first alert, but nothing came from the other seismic agencies like Natural Resources Canada or EMSC. It says the USGS, uh, despite coming through some USGS feed, there was no sign of an earthquake having actually occurred from people who could have felt it. If there really had been an event anywhere close to that magnitude, recording stations all over North America would have picked it up. Do you notice the location? The upper end of the Cascadia subduction zone. So that is quite creepy. That a 6.5 ticked off in the USGS, but then it was later deleted. It says, well, this is rare, Canada. A quake reporting through the USA feeds. I wonder how big it actually is. I'll be watching the helipods. Notice the location. I can find a verification of the event. Did anyone feel it? They are saying it was an error. Perhaps it was an early warning, either by the elite or for the elite. Maybe even divinely or alien hacked for the people? Question mark. So who knows what was the true purpose of having the 6.5 earthquake happen in Canada? Was it a hack? Was it just some glitch? Or, were they, or are they planning for something bigger? later on who knows all right next major hailstorm drops rare softball sized hail near appleton wisconsin that is quite large look at that imagine that landing on your car or landing on you if you step outside that's quite creepy it says softball sized hail just fell outside appleton and severe thunderstorms produced with uh, pounded wisconsin on tuesday morning Russ Smith told the Wisconsin State Journal he was working at a construction site and a couple of miles of Appleton's north side when the hail the size of a softball and baseball fell for a solid two minutes. That is a long time. That was amazing watching it fall from the sky. Words can't describe what it looked like. Hail up to the size of a baseball fell in parts of Brown or the Jimin Wapuka counties. Large hail in Appleton. From severe storms that rolled through this morning. That is quite large hail. Alright, next. Dixie Fire is blazing its way to becoming California's biggest inferno ever. The Dixie Fire is blazing its way to becoming California's biggest ever. It says the Dixie Fire in Northern California 
is on its way to being the largest wildfire in the state's history, officials say it has burned 917,579 acres, and that was only 59% contained as of Tuesday. Currently, the largest fire by acreage of the state's in, uh, is the August Complex, which burned 1,032,648 acres in 2020. So that is quite large. It is only the second largest fire in California's history. Alright. Next, climate, excuse me, climatological peak of hurricane season arrives with two potential storms brewing. The peak of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season is here. The National Hurricane Center is busy tracking Larry, still spinning in the Atlantic, approaching Newfoundland, and two potential storms brewing off the west coast of Africa and the other in the Caribbean Sea. So we got two storms, one in the Caribbean, one off Africa, and then we have Larry on the top that's going to be bringing snow to Newfoundland and Greenland. Alright guys, heads up, we're at the peak of, of hurricane season. So be prepared. Make sure you got all the gear you need. All right. Next, Bill Gates goes on post-divorce buying spree, acquires controlling interest in Four Seasons hotels. A little more than a month after Microsoft co uh, co-founder Bill Gates and Melinda French Gates officially divorced, Bill went on a buying spree and acquired controlling interest in the Four Seasons luxury hotel groups. The tech billionaire, who is now a single man and was one known as a hard partying womanizer who recruited local strippers to attend naked pool parties, cemented controlling interest in Four Seasons for $2.21 billion after he bought 24% stake from a longtime business uh, partner, Alawi Bin Talal. Gates increase, increased his stakes to 71.25 from 47.5. So Bill Gates going on a shopping spree. And you know what's interesting? Bill Gates owns a lot of farmland of the, in the United States um, that produce uh, beef and all this kind of stuff. And he also has been purchasing nuclear power plants around the areas. So it's quite creepy that he's buying all the farmland, he's buying nuclear power plants, and now he's buying uh, in controlling interest of Four Season Hotels. Who knows what else he's going to buy. Alright, next... The U.S. has just hit its hottest summer on record. The summer beat the record set by a Dust Bowl summer of 1936, when huge parts of the West and the Great Plains were parched by severe drought. And it seems like every year it is the hottest on record, and it just keeps getting worse. Hopefully next year isn't as bad. I'll leave the link to every article so you guys can check out the stories. That's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news and uh, pray for New York City, pray for um, Haiti still, and for the people in California going through these fires. Please pray for um, all the um, people who had um, the hurricane in Louisiana and um, all the people who had the flooding in New York City. They're still in New York and New Jersey. They're still um, going through all that. Please pray for our country because our country needs it. All right, guys. See you guys next time. God bless you guys.